Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Rainer and this is Rainier Books. I'm a German booktuber in Sweden, Stockholm. Um, it's cloudy, but it's still kind of warm outside, so I do this outside on the balcony. And today is June the 23rd. That means in eight days from now, it's the 1st of July. And on July the 1st, the post-Soviet book club will open its doors for the second time. And we're going to read our second novel. The first one was in May, and we started with Sergei Lebedev's novel Untraceable, which is about two Russian men who worked or have worked for the secret services in Russia. One professor who invented a poison that is untraceable but very deadly. The other one, a secret service agent who was sent out to Germany to kill the inventor of the prison. A Le Carreish, a John Le Carreish novel that delivers psychological portraits of the men who have made killing their passion and profession. That was in May. Now, eight days ahead from now, in July, we are going to read a book from the Ukraine as the second post-Soviet country. And this will be Oksana Zabushko's novel, Museum of Abandoned Secrets. Translated into English by Nina Shevchuk Murray and published by Amazon Crossing in 2012. A ride on 727 pages, which we are giving us six, week, six weeks to read until the mid of August. Who is Oksana Zabushko? She was born in 1960 in a 200,000 people town in Lutsk in northwestern Ukraine. In 1968, when she was eight years old, she moved with her parents to, to the capital, to Kiev. She studied philosophy, did her PhD in 1987 in aesthetics. After that, she taught, among others, at Penn State University in the United States. She taught Ukrainian literature at Harvard and the University of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Her first novel was published in 1996. It's called Field Works in Ukrainian Sex, and it was provocative, feminist, and led to controversies in her home country, but also to a huge success. It was translated into 15 languages. The Museum of Abandoned Secrets came in 2009 in her home country in the Ukraine, and it deals with three generations of important generations and epochs of the Ukrainian history, the World War II, the 1970s and the 2000s. It also deals with the relationship of Ukraine and its big brother or big sister, Russia. So join me and join us reading this important work of literature from the Ukraine. The Facebook group consists right now of a small bunch of people, but we are glad if you join us in July to read the read Oksana Zabushko's Museum of Abandoned Secrets. Welcome to the post-Soviet book club, and excuse me for saying this in Russian, but Russian is and still is, I think, in many of the former republics, a sort of a lingua franca. Dobro pozhalovat v pastsovietsky knizhny klub. Thanks for watching this, and I see you very soon. Bye-bye.